سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأهل بيته وأحبته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي المذنبة المقصرة بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال ربنا العزيز في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حتى إذا استيأس الرسل وظنوا أنهم قد كذبوا جاءهم نصرنا فنجي من نشاء ولا يرد بأسنا عن القوم المجرمين صدق الله العلي العظيم الله سبحانه وتعالى says sometimes even the messengers and the prophets رسل messengers and the prophets they reach the stage of despair yes حتى إذا استيأس الرسل they were despaired that where is God's victim I'm working, I'm struggling with my community, I'm guiding them, I'm leaving my home every day, every night, going to them, speaking to them, inviting them, and they keep rejecting, rejecting, rejecting. Where is God's victim? God had promised to support us, to send us victory. Where is his victory? His victory is not coming down. Hatta in a status, until... The prophets, our prophets, they were disturbed. Stay as a Muslim. See how tough times they had in their life. You think now we have tough times? At that time, there were no sign of victory. No sign of victory. Whoever believed in a prophet, he would be persecuted immediately. They take his house, they take his family away, they take his wealth, they take his dignity, his life. And there were no signs of victory. Even the prophets, they were disturbed. Where is God's victory? Hatta in the state as a Rusul. Wadhanu, and Wadhanu means tayakkan. They were certain that they have been deemed liars. Nobody's, you know, sometimes when you invite people and people don't listen, you start having suspicion about yourself. You say, maybe I'm not saying the right thing. Maybe I'm wrong. This is why nobody's not believing in me. See, you reach that state, you reach that state of despair that you think you are a liar. Because people are not listening. But you are not a liar. The wrong is not with you. The wrong is with the people. People who have been mired by and overwhelmed by dunya, they don't listen. They don't listen. Allah seals over their ears. They don't listen, not because you are wrong, not because the prophet is wrong, because they are wrong. They are wrong. They don't allow, they don't free their souls. If their soul, the nafs, is captivated with dunya, then it cannot think, it cannot move. They have to free their souls from dunya a little bit so they can hear the truth. They can hear the truth and they can follow it. حتى إذا استيأس الرسل وظنوا أنهم قد كذبوا they were deemed that they are liars at that moment at that last moment at the breaking point جاءهم نصرنا we sent our rescue and our victory and our help to them فنجي من نشاء those that we will we're going to save the believers فنجي من نشاء 
ولا يرد بأسنا عن القوم المجرمين. But those deniers, nothing can protect them against our wrath and anger. ولا يرد بأسنا عن القوم المجرمين. Now, many people, especially young people, they ask me, they tell me, is Al-Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam, this is a reality or myth? Where is he? Why we see fightings and bloodshed and refugees and prisoners and injustice and zulm and aggression and corruption everywhere, every corner. Where is the Mahdi then? Where is he then? Didn't God say we will send, you know, we will send him after the earth is filled with corruption? Now the earth is filled with corruption, with injustice. Where is he? People have reached this breaking point now. Stay as a Muslim. If the prophets and messengers of God were disturbed, me and you, it would not be surprising if we get disturbed. But we shouldn't. Allah says, you should not. Never be disturbed. Allah will send him in the right time. And listen to what the Imam, Imam al-Sadiq says. Imam. <laughs> His occultation, his disappearance is going to be prolonged and prolonged. Tamtad expands. Hatta yasful imanu min al kadar until we purify faith from contamination. What does that mean? It means birtidadi man kanat qinatuhu khabitha. Some people, their faith is not complete. We don't want those people. Those are going to turn against religion. Those people are going to defect and disbelieve and move away. Those are not going to be his loyal supporters. Many people are going to say, this is a myth. He's not here anymore. And this is you know, something that people fabricated. So they're going to disbelieve in him. Allah says, because we don't want those people. We want people who are full of trust and faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his promises. Allah says always we test people, we put them to test. Am hasibtum an tadkhulu al-jannah an tutraku am hasibtum an tutraku walamma ya'lam Allah walamma ya'lam Allah alladhina jahadu minkum we don't leave you without test. In the first verse that I recited the first sermon, Alif Lam Mim, Surah Al Ankabut, that you're going to read in the night of Qadr, the 23rd in Ramadan. Alif Lam Mim, Ahasib al Nasu an Yutraku, an Yaqulu Amanna wa Hum la Yuftanu. Mankind suppose that we leave them alone without putting them to test by just saying verbally that we believe, we accept that from them, we don't accept that. We need actions, not just verbal. Declaration. We need to see that in their life. This is why we test them. We put them to severe tests. Fitna is test. We put them to test. All communities before them have been put to test. So God wants to show mankind those who are steadfast in the truth and those who are liars. They just claim. They claim they are followers of Islam. They claim that they are followers of Ahlul Bayt and Imam Mahdi. But when Imam Mahdi is there, they run away. Maybe some of them will turn against him. Believe me. I have no doubt that some people who claim that they are Shia and followers of Ahlul Bayt, they are going to be unhappy with his reappearance. The same thing happened with the Prophet Muhammad Before he became messenger, he was beloved by all Meccans. All Meccans, men and women, they loved him. They cherished him. They called him a Sadiq, al Amin, you are truthful, you are honest, you are integrated person, you are a wonderful person. The moment he said, Ulu la ilaha illallah, they turned again. 99% of the people, they turned against him. The same will happen with Imam al-Mahdi. Many people are going to turn against him. The Saudi royal crown prince, 
He was saying that we cannot work with Iran. Impossible. Why? Because Iran, they believe in the mythical idea of Al-Mahdi. Al-Mahdi who brings justice and peace to worldwide. So we cannot have diplomatic relationship. A country that believes in a universal savior who brings peace and justice, you cannot work with them. You cannot work with them. He doesn't because he's only illiterate. His father put him in this position. He brought him from the desert. If you ask his ulama, it's in your book, in Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Tirmidhi, Abu Dawood, and Nasai, the Prophet says, Al-Mahdiyu min wuldi, min wuldi aliyyan wa Fatima. The Prophet says, Kayfa bikum, he turned to his companions, his sahaba one day, how do you feel, Kayfa bikum, idha nazala fikum al-Masih ibn Maryam, وَإِمَامُكُمْ مِنْكُمْ Masih, Messiah is going to descend while the Imam, the leader of that time, is one of you, one of this community. And that is Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salatu wassalam. But then, why people don't read? Because the answer is in this book. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَجْعَلِ اللَّهِ لَهُ نُورًا فَمَا لَهُ بِالنُّورٍ إِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَلْ أَبْصَارُ وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَلْ قُلُوبُ الَّتِي فِي الصُّدُورِ The heart is blind. Someone who is murdered, he killed thousands of Yemenis day and night with his F-16s and his bombs. He can, he can believe in Imam al-Mahdi. He's the first enemy of Imam al-Mahdi. He's the first enemy. People do not believe in him not because he's a mythical idea. He's not a myth. He's a reality. But because he goes against the interest of the tyrants, of the dictators, of the murderers. Al Imam al Mahdi is a reality, and we have to prepare ourselves for him. And we have to not only pray for his return, but to act, to act, to organize our families, our children, to teach them, to be good fathers. Imam al Mahdi wants soldiers who are good fathers. Not irresponsible fathers. Good mothers to tend to your children. Teach them, raise them Islamically with Islamic ethics. Those are the community, the supporters, the Ansar, the helpers of the last Imam. Al Imam al Mahdi, Ajilallahu ta'ala faraja. Allahumma kuni waliyik al Hujjat ibn al Hassan. Salawatuka alayhi wa ala abaih fi hadi his sa'a wa fi kuli sa'a. Waliyan. وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين